So, last time, I was all like, hey, check this out. I got a Magic of the Gathering booster pack and stuff and whatnot. And Wizards of the Coast. So, what's going on is essentially, right now, I'm like, ah, Magic of the Gathering. What do I want to do? I want to do something that's like, hmm. But this is not, and I mean, that, uh. The thing is that the deck is not going to be, uh, or the, the number of cards that you need to play are not all here or present. So, I went ahead and purchased a Magic the Gathering Spell Slinger Starter Kit. And uh, it says, like, right here, learn to play Magic today. So, I was like, oh, yes, this should, uh, this should definitely... My deck problems would be solved. I figured while I got it, I was like, okay, you know what? I'll uh, I'll save it and uh, I'll open it. So here, here we are. And now I'm like, ah, Spellslinger. And um, I'm like, ah, cause it's got like, a, it looks like a white and a green. And it says here on the top, it has every color except for a blue, which is okay, because in their world, they, they go by the rainbow. So, what it is, is essentially, it's all like, oh, because red is fire, green is earth, and there's a couple of others as well. I believe there's three more. And uh, then there's also colorless, or there's multicolored. So, with that, I was like, okay, I'll... I'll learn. I'll learn. What what is next after buying a booster pack? So I was like, all right. I'll get one. I'll get a starter kit and I'll uh see what uh see what it's got in it. It's got a few cool things already. I can see like it's got two decks with wonderful spacious views. And, uh, oh, it's got some, um, triangular, it looks like a, I don't know if that's octahedral or a hexagonal, but there's a couple of die here. They're definitely, um, this one's five-sided, and this one, uh, this one, so they could be a, 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 a poly, I'm not too sure what, what the official term is, because it's all geometry. Geometry. <laughs> all right. With that being said, we shall. Ah! Oh. 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 All right. Whoa. Magic of the Gathering. I was going to toss this on the floor, but then I was like, I have a puppy. My puppy. Rule book. Okay. It's definitely got some reading in here. So, like, it goes over some basic stuff of the game. It, uh, it has a few things that look pretty interesting. Like, okay, uh, here are the five colors that I was referring to. So now... I get to pick a color and I have to I have to get a color and I have to um I have to go ahead and make sure that no matter what I I I walk away with something like gold or silver and um essentially what it is is um oh this is pretty cool It's 
it's got like some companion app so like it'll do like a uh like a life counter and so oh i might look into that mm -hmm. uh, uh, definitely definitely and then it's got like some faqs Ooh, there is a spell slinger quick start guide oh okay so i shall just flip through this because it's one of those expandable fold-out ones that show you all the cool things. Uh. Uh. Oh, what? Ah, okay, so these are all the different Planeswalkers decks. That's interesting. And then it's back to the front over here again. I suppose they're all like heroes and stuff, so. Meh. And then, oh, there's another one! Spell Slinger Quick Start Guide. This one is the, uh. Ah, okay, so each deck has their own individual Quick Start Guide, and I assume. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. I have a bit of reading ahead of me. <laughs> Interesting plastic piece. Potential display. Potential display. <laughs> okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay. The two dice. So, the first one, I'm not too sure on the shape. But if you look at the top, it's a pentagram. And then the side is just an array of triangles to join the other pentagram. So I'm not too sure if they call that a polyhedron or what. But it's essentially a polygon. And uh, pretty cool. You get a green one and then a white one. For the decks, pretty cool theme. Not bad. And, um, ooh, okay, so. Uh, some some fire we got some fire now we got some fire going we got some stuff going cue the uh cue the portal where's the portal i need a portal to like um some dimension that has a bunch of uh healthy lenny and larry's cookies that i can just grab and eat whenever i want to yes I don't think I have anything to uh, use to cut this open. Okay. It cut because the container is on my keyboard 
and I don't want the packaging to fly all over the place because Thor might eat it and I don't want him to poop out something bad. Okay, ah, do not shuffle. Flip this card over. Here is our green and purple card. Okay, wow. Another decent deck. Let's uh let's go through it. All these Punisher skulls. Look at all these Punisher skulls. <laughs> like when I'm driving on the freeway and all I see are a bunch of cars that have Punisher skulls on them. <laughs> horrible. 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 Most of these cards that I'm pulling are really good. And uh, some of them I'll have to uh, go back and uh, review later if they have a lot of skills or talents. I know a lot of uh, experienced players will demonstrate how cards are used. So if they have like a special talent or if they have something that makes that particular card unique then essentially what it is is you can demonstrate it and do all kinds of things to effectively show and illustrate what it is that your card does before you actually get onto the playing field so almost done that's two decks two decks A vampire! I'd rather go watch Dora the Explorer right now. Ugh, almost done. Almost done. Ugh. FYI, I was a little tiny child kid person while experiencing Dora the Explorer and uh, the live action movie was amazing. Like, totally watch it. Best part is when she's walking through the forest and totally owns everybody and starts speaking Incan. And everybody's like, I think she sounds like a crazy person in an asylum or institute. And the professor's like, I believe she's speaking ancient Incan. And um, the dude is uh, totally a traitor. And it was like, <gasps> but whatever. Spoiler alert. <laughs> D gap. Oh, I feel good.
in the near future, I shall make it to where I have something to make each card visible while revealing. Okay. Woof. The Olympic Torch. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so wow. Here we go. Two decks. And... There we go. Okay. All right. Wow, that's a lot. So... Not bad. I think the uh, the price was anywhere between thirty to fifty dollars from e from uh, Amazon, not eBay. And um, if you can't find it on Amazon, I highly recommend eBay. But there are a lot of other websites and networks to go through. Be sure to search all of them through the interweb. Ooh, that's a uh, the only color is blue so if uh, they had like a uh, rainbow starter kit I might have to get one of those but um, at the moment if uh, I needed more cards which I did uh, I would buy this instead of a booster pack unless you're willing to spend the money to get enough booster packs to essentially get this many cards because otherwise poof the objective has been missed. And, um... Uh, whew. I like it. Not a bad buy. The purchase overall to me felt right. Very grand. And, uh... Plus, it gave me... I believe they're branded magic... Yes. So the number one on the die, I believe, is the... Oh, no, 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 no. The number one is the number one, so uh, the magic logo could be potentially a zero or um, 20. It could also be 20 or zero. I'll assume 20 because it is like a, uh, I want to say it's a 20 sided die. So if it's 20, then it, it goes from 1 to 20. Not bad. So overall, I would have to rate the uh, Magic the Gathering starter kit with a... Uh, I'll say like a... Um, I'll say a 7.5 because uh, the one thing... It would have been really interesting to have inside of the magic starter kit besides just the uh, packaging and the like how to start playing and a couple of booklets to uh, go along with the cards that say how to start playing um, I would have thrown in a pad or two to uh, allow the individual or the player to understand what goes where because right now I'm still going what huh and unless you are active on the computer or have a console and you play Magic the Gathering Arena, you might have a little bit of a learning curve. So I highly recommend going to Magic the Gathering and looking up the rules and the demo for how to play and what you need in order to start a board game or a card game with your friends. So if you're looking to purchase something like this, get it, buy it. I love it. It's great. It's, uh, it's not Pokemon, but it's definitely got a good feel to it like a Digimon. So, with that being said, everybody be safe, have a good one, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all soon once quarantine's over. Bye!